And we can speak now to the leader of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, who joins us from Brussels. Thank you very much for your time today. If I could begin by asking you about the, the talks that have been taking place there and ask you perhaps to suspend your natural scepticism about this process. Do you think David Cameron has made any progress on what all sides admit is a very difficult task? Uh, zero. Absolutely zero. I mean, there is only one substantive demand, and that is that we should be able to end migrant benefits for a period of up to four years. Uh, and on that, there is absolutely no agreement. Um, even those countries in Eastern Europe who are naturally Mr Cameron's allies on many things are now viscerally opposed to him on this issue. He's getting nowhere. He will come home from this summit with nothing. Uh, he will, I've no doubt, over the next couple of days, uh, tell the British public that unless he gets some concessions, he may well himself even back the Leave side, uh, and, then, and then we'll all be back here in six to seven weeks' time. There'll be another special summit. Uh, the deal that will be done is that we will be able to reduce migrant benefits, provided we also reduce benefits for British people, and that somehow is going to get presented as a victory. I have to say, this referendum uh, is predicated upon Britain's renegotiation. And given that a third of the population are sceptical about EU membership, but could be prepared to stay if we get a better deal, um, I think Mr Cameron's project is now in genuine real trouble. Well, another aspect of uh, immigration making the headlines today with MPs saying the cap uh, intended to limit the number of skilled workers from outside the EU isn't working and that employers are simply taking on more people from within the EU, therefore not reducing the numbers. Uh, would you actually welcome a, a raising of that cap on skilled workers from outside the EU in line with the suggestions you've made about a point well. system? I want to end the discrimination we have within our immigration system where we say anybody that comes from southern and eastern Europe, regardless whether they're skilled or not, can come in unlimited numbers. Oh, but if you're a scientist coming from New Zealand or a doctor coming from India, uh, we're going to be very strict about whether we let you in. That's all the wrong way round. What I want us to have is an Australian style point system where we don't discriminate against people because of geography. We choose people because they've got skills that we need, that they haven't got criminal records and they bring their own health insurance. And if we do that, uh, all the debate, all the heat, all the argument about immigration would cease virtually overnight. Uh, finally, Mr Farage, I want to ask you about your position as leader. Do you bring an optimistic message for the future? Because uh, UKIP's MP, Douglas Carswell, has been saying that the party needs a fresh face, someone with an optimistic message. Well, we are a very united party. Uh, the UKIP National Executive, uh, the UKIP couple of dozen MEPs, they're all unanimously behind my leadership of the party. 91% is Douglas of Carswell? UKIP voters... Is Douglas Carswell? 91% of UKIP voters in the country are behind my leadership. We have one person who disagrees with my leadership. Douglas Carswell is completely out on a limb uh, and we cannot allow for somebody to go on sowing division when none exists. So frankly, uh, rather than saying these things privately and now publicly, he must put up or shut up. Okay. Uh, Nigel Farage, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.